not going to get political here because that's not what this is about. But let me just say this. One of my favorite things about walking around Los Angeles or New York or Miami or New Orleans or any of these cool cities, San Francisco, are all the different languages that I hear, different kinds of foods, whatever it is. I think that's what makes this country really cool. It's just a smorgasbord and I love it. Downtown LA. That's downtown LA. I love this place. I love it. I love the sights. I love the smells. I love the food. Most of all, I like Santiali. Santiali is right down there. One of the coolest places in LA. LA's filled with cool places, right? But Santiali, <laughs> there's nothing else like it. It's, uh, it's out of a movie, it's out of a comic book. It's like this bazaar, kind of, in an alley with all these different shops, food, people just walking around, getting bargains on knockoff items and music, and I don't know, yeah, I'm just gonna show it to you and then hopefully you dig it. All right, let's go check it out. Santi Alley, you ready? You ready? You ready? Let's go. Every time I come down here to Santi Alley, one of the first things I do is I hit up this taco stand. It's right on the corner of 12th and Wall. It's always here, and I get two carne asada tacos and a jalapeno. The jalapeno will burn your face off, but come and get it anyways, because it's freaking delicious. Four dollars. Mula? Thank you. Four bucks, two tacos. Some cucumbers, I forgot to get the jalapeno. I don't know if my belly can handle it. People always ask if like street food in Los Angeles is um, safe to eat, and I say, hell yeah. Let's check these out. It's carne asada with some salsa. to answer a question that I've gotten a few times by people on Instagram, on YouTube, uh, and that's, uh, they've talked to me about how they have like fear of shooting street photography. Because it's a weird thing, it is. I mean, when I first started doing it, it kind of freaked me out. You know, you're taking pictures of strangers, uh, you know, on the street, it can be really weird. The way I got over my fear of doing it, and my nerves of doing it, is just, do it just go out and do it be fearless with it and like I've said before a million times is just be cool you know be nice to people smile at people a smile oh my god a smile will get you so far if you're taking a picture of somebody and you're trying to be a creep with your camera and like creeping around doing it then yeah people are gonna get pissed at that not like that but if you smile at people people will be okay with it that's my two cents about how I got over my fear of shooting on the street and I hope you get something out of it. Smile, be nice. Joey, you know, most of the time people are are nice back. Why not? There's this great balcony that you can come, well, it's not really a balcony, it's more of a walkway. Uh, it's here at the end of Santi Alley. I totally recommend coming up here, checking it out. You can get some cool like, bird's eye views of the whole place.
God. Have you ever had one of these uh, Magnum ice cream bar things? Holy crap, that's incredible. Probably one of the best tasting things I've ever tasted in my life. Run, don't walk to the store and go get one of these. One of the funniest things about being me in Los Angeles or almost everywhere I go is that people think I can speak Spanish. So everybody comes up to me, especially here, and speaks to me in Spanish. And I'm just like, huh? I mean, I can understand quite a bit, but I cannot speak very much Spanish. <laughs> so it's always kind of an interesting, fun little adventure. Literally, if you can dream it, you can find it here. There's so much crazy stuff. Oh, and these guys right here, right behind me, these guys will clean your tennis shoes, and that is the best okay, shoe cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> the best shoe cleaner. I have two bottles. How much is, how much is it for a bottle and a brush? 25. 25 for a bottle and a brush. I have two bottles. I love this stuff. Stop here in Santa Alley. They'll also clean your shoes here. All right. Okay. Here's a photography tip. Anytime I'm out shooting, I'm always thinking about what lens I want to use. Uh, because it's like really tight quarters here, I'm gonna either shoot with like a 28 or my 35. I try and stay away from lenses like 50 millimeter or 75 millimeter when I'm shooting in really tight areas just because you won't end up getting anything. All the stuff will be too close. You can't compose a good shot. So that's my little tip. Tighter the area, the wider the lens, 28, 35. If I'm out like in wide open spaces, then of course I'll put on a longer lens. Hope that helps. Santee Alley. Hope you guys think this place is as cool as I think it is. Come and see it if you live in LA or you're just visiting. And um, yeah, you'll love it. If you like the photos, if you like what I do, hit the um, subscribe button, the like button, share it with your friends. Have fun taking photos, guys.